Hello, my name is Zach and let's get started. Now, you've moved to Linux, you want to increase your workflow, you want to have control over your computer. Excellent. Well, today we're going to write a simple script that will help you do just that. Now, one way to increase your workflow is to organize. We all know that. And what we're going to write today is a simple script that will allow you to organize a grouping of websites that you visit on a regular basis. Maybe it's work or school or a particular hobby. And with one script command, it will open multiple for you. Not complicated, but can be really effective in helping you out. So we're going to give an example. So this particular script right here, it's a day trade script, and all it does is open a couple of pages for us. There we go, real life trading and trade Nikki. That's it, that's what the script, uh, the script does. But how do you customize it, how do you make it your own? That's what we're interested in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open Nano and Nano is just an editor. You can use any editor you want. I'm just using Nano. And we're going to do a search.sh. Now, why search? Eh, it's easy. We can do uh, Google and Bing. Uh, real easy for you to practice. But you get the point. You'll be able to do it. And then you can set them up. Maybe, like I said, you have a work tab. You just type in dot slash work. Boom, there's your work related tabs slash school boom there's your school tabs okay so we go ahead and open that first thing we want to do is do a shebang which is the pound sign uh, exclamation point and then do bin bash if you're new to any kind of programming this uh, just tells the uh, compiler that we're using bash script and where it's located all right so for Google Chrome we type in Google Chrome now, if you want to use, say, Chromium, uh, you could do Chromium, or you could type in Firefox if you want Firefox, okay, like such. But I am going to stick with Google Chrome. And what we're gonna do is type in the address of the one or multiple websites that we want to uh, go visit. So here I have uh, Google.com. Let's go ahead and do Bing. Dot com. I think that's it. I've never actually went there. I don't use it to search, so I'm not for sure. But uh, there's a good couple of spots. Now, this tells us, or the software, open this browser, open this website in a tab, open this website in a tab, and let's just do a duplicate here again. Um, we'll do Google again, just so that you can see if I can type that multiples will open this is all you need however I like to just go ahead and put in a notification and we can do that by echo then put in a single or double quote all done and go ahead and close whichever quote you chose and that's it now in uh, nano we do control X yes we want to and then yeah that's where we want to save it now if we do an ls, we can see we have our new search.sh file in there. Let's go ahead and run it. If you're new to Linux, you do dot slash and then the name. Now, when I run it, it says wah wah wah, permission denied. Why is that? Well, in this case, we have not given it the permission needed. Notice over here that my day trade sh is green where my search is white this is a simple fix you'll use it a lot so you'll do chmod and then we'll do plus sign x make this plus executable and then the file that we want and boom now when we do an ls command notice that it is green right now we can go ahead and do dot slash search and voila we have a Google, Bing, and another Google. So as you can see, very nice, very simple, and easy to increase your workflow. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop them down in the comments, 
If you have some cool ideas on how you can use this, drop those as well. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm moving everything to this new channel. I'm going to uh, be doing some new video editing and trying out some new tricks. Uh, this one is going to be fairly plain. It's just for the, uh, the information and to upload to start the new YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Happy coding.